Hi friends, I want to show something today that I use a bit. I use it specifically in the Calidad song Casa Manana, but it's it's effective and useful and I hope you like it. I call it double octave. The reason because I'm skipping not one octave where that would be one octave, but I'm skipping two. The two open E strings specifically. Basically I'm inviting you to take any riff that you would play on one E string, for example. Smoke on the water. Play it on two at once. I use what I call pincer picking, which you might have seen if you follow this channel often enough. It's something that I find of find myself doing a lot, even though it's not traditionally taught as technique. But just playing both E strings at the same time, at the same fret. In this case, I'm going zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five, zero, three, five, three, eight. Um, I'll quickly show you Casa Manana. It's a bit tricky, but some people ask for Calidad's song, so it goes. So for those of you who want to try that, it was 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9, 6, 9, 6, 5, Mouthful, but if you're kind of advanced enough to play that, you should be able to figure that out. This is a great technique as well. If you're playing on your own, I used to occasionally do gigs on my own in like cafes and little bars and little wine clubs and things like that. And one of the hard things was that if you stop playing, you know, if you're playing chords, you can you can fill a nice sound and entertain people with just an instrumental guitar. But as soon as you drop to single notes, it can sometimes feel like the sound's a bit empty. And this is a really great way of filling sound. but any anything that you would play on one string you can do like your scales you can do it with that pincer movement on both E strings at once I hope you get something out of that thank you very much for watching